last time if you remember that uh, four days back i guess we learned how to actually copy the chart from excel and uh, how to paste that in ppt the powerpoint right so i have received a question from one of you thank you so much for asking the, me this question and i also want to thank you for uh, giving me a good uh, response after watching that video so uh, any any which ways i was supposed to cover this but i'm happy that you have also asked me this question so guys uh, to, today now we like to go and do one thing we like to go and copy both these charts in the same ppt okay so we like to go and put the chart over here and over here so generally what happens when you paste the the graph here the graph uh, you know paste like this right i mean graph can go and uh, uh, take this uh, can or uh, can can be placed right over this the, the first graph and then you know obviously we will not be able to see the graph so uh, you have asked me that uh, is there any way that what if i have to keep one chart over here and one chart over here you know and maybe the third chart somewhere here okay so that's what we are going to actually talk about it okay so you see the thing is that if you have seen that previous video the first thing is that let me quickly just repeat that if because i'm not sure if you have seen that video and please do subscribe to the channel if you think that these videos are pretty awesome if they are not awesome then of course you don't have to subscribe to it and click on the notification also the bell icon so guys this is what the first thing you have to do you have to make sure that you know excel we should be able to converse with the powerpoint because powerpoint is a different application right so when i click like this so what happens vba allows us to work with this powerpoint classes because you should know that even the powerpoint it has a vba okay so when the powerpoint has a vba so you need to then understand that how you can get into inside the power uh, the powerpoint actually right in the powerpoint then how you can work with the presentations how you can work with the slides and then of course the graphs or the tables whatever right so so let's start this so uh, the very first thing is that as you know that first of all we have to define the powerpoint because powerpoint is nowhere right now right so we simply go and say powerpoint application and set ppt i have explained this before also so i will be very quick you see this line will give a you know a birth to powerpoint which is actually ppt because ppt is the name of our object you can give any name whatever suits you so now our object is created it has taken a birth and now we can actually speak to this object right so we are going to basically say that okay i want to see my ppt like this true you can write here true right and then let's activate the ppt to go over there okay so this is basically what it does let me quickly show you if i just run this line okay then your ppt will come in front of you right so right now you see the ppt is visible but it's actually minimized so i just want to see that so you see that the ppt is there now obviously the next thing you do in ppt is to add the presentation right so in the presentation we simply go and say presentation is this right and i say that this is my presentation which is going to be part of my which is going to be part of my ppt obviously you know so we always follow the object hierarchy in vba correct or not right once the presentation is there so i'm just going to run this see what happens you will have a presentation because you know you cannot go and add any slide if you don't have a presentation now you can see in the background right so we have a presentation see that right and then the next thing which we want to do is we basically want to add a slide so uh, since we have to add one slide so i'll just give it a name called p slide as powerpoint slide okay and then we will define that how many slides i mean this slide is uh, going to be of which index is it my first slide yes it's our first actually slide so this is how we will go and write slides and then we will add and don't use the add slide just use the add word you will not see the add you know popping up over there and giving you uh, i mean from the drop down you don't see the add but just use this okay just a flaw as i said before also in vba but use the add which powerpoint i want to add uh, it's my first and i just like to keep this layout blank okay there are so many layouts so you can use whatever you want right now after this the slide is going to be created and that's where we want to go and paste both the charts right so this is the slide created now you you know that in our actually this uh, the excel workbook there are two charts one is the chart one and the chart two 
okay so we will quickly go and define this chart so let's say i say that so my cst1 as chart object okay chart object is a class and then cst2 as another chart object class okay so how do we define the charts because we are working in the existing charts so when you're working with the existing charts so this is what you have to say since this is a, only one sheet so i can use the active sheet otherwise please use the sheet name properly okay because this will be uh, this will be uh, going, this is going to find the chart on this active sheet sheet one okay so active sheet dot sheet uh, sorry uh, dot chart objects and in the chart objects we are going to find out the chart one which is this one okay now same way i will go and define the another chart okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the colon and i will define the chart here i'm just trying to save the space so you can define this in every you can i mean give the values to these objects in a single line also provided you should have a uh, you know the colon now this this should not be a problem so i'm just going to actually copy this chart and then where i want to copy this chart and where i want to paste this well obviously you have a p slide right so we will simply go at you know use here shapes and then we'll say that we want to paste special and then you can use whatever you want see all these are different different you know uh, the ways png rtf and then um, gif and then bitmap okay so i'm just going to use the bitmap okay so on this slide the p slide what is your p slide by the way p slide is my the first slide you have already defined it right so we'll get the data over there so now the next thing is that after this because i want another thing you know i want another uh, the chart to be copied so we will then say okay now it's a time for the chart two. so we'll copy the chart two and we we'll paste the slide uh, the same chart over there now let's see that what is going to happen okay so there we go. okay so you see the chart is copied now we should be able to paste this let me go to the this slide and let's see that and let me change the width so we can see that let's see that now you see that it's actually pasted okay some of the code has run on the fi mode and generally i've seen that when you work with the powerpoint so please always put the break codes because you see i was i was just trying to press f8 but the code immediately ran okay so if that is a challenge uh, you're facing while doing the debugging just better you put the break codes over here okay anyways now the thing is that we have got both the charts over here as i was telling you right it's pretty simple now you see that what is the next thing that we like to do as i said that you like to go and move this on the maybe let's say on the left side of this uh, presentation and then you know uh, slide actually and then on uh, maybe over here right so you have to do some uh, you know kind of uh, you have to rerun the codes you have to do some experimentation here just keep changing the numbers i'll show you what i mean actually so let's say you have here the charts right like this so once the charts are here these actually no more considered as charts because now they are actually powerpoint shapes right so we have two shapes here right so what we are going to do we are going to define these two shapes over here right so that we can go and put them wherever we want so what we will do we will simply say that okay i have a shape one and that actually is my powerpoint shape so we'll use this class called powerpoint shape okay powerpoint shape so once you are done with this you have to define that what exactly is a shape one isn't it so we go and give the value to the shape now what is the shape shape one what is it well it can be any chart right which you have copied from there right so in this case now what we will say that there are two shapes so one is shape one and the second is shape two so we'll use the index so shape is actually a, a part of the this slide isn't it because if you don't have a slide you can't paste the shapes over there again the object hierarchy we are following like in excel we have workbook and then sheets and then on sheets you have tables different different ranges you know so right so we have a p slide here p slide right and then what we will do after this p slide you know once you have said that okay this is our slide we'll say that shapes and in the shape i'll give the number so first shape will be considered as now shape one okay and same thing you will actually do for shape number two okay right now sometimes students say that is very really actually difficult you know this type of automation it's not difficult if you follow the proper hierarchy if you go by the logic now tell me one thing let me ask you so when you're defining the shape if i give you an you know let's say objective type question and i mentioned there that are you going to define the shape by using the presentation or by using the powerpoint or by using the slide your answer should be slide obviously 
right for the hierarchy right so first it, it is a powerpoint then there is a presentation and then the, after the presentation there are slides and after the slides there are shapes and that's what we are doing here right so the first thing is that we will say that okay i want to actually take this from the top and from the top i like to keep the distance as for example zero so that means it is going to touch the uh, the top you know the corner of this uh, the slide same we want to do this for this you know for the shape to work so so if i rerun this then we should see that you know these items should go like this on the top right because we are not keeping any distance and so maybe just to see if i increase the distance let's say i just like to keep this as maybe 230 okay let's see that so if i close this and i will re rerun the program let me you know put the break code here let's run the code so you see that we have got both the you know the charts here so let's say from the top you see that from the top there is no actually uh, the margin because we said zero and what about 230 yeah so 230 comes over here right so now the ball is in your court just play with this okay the way you want i have given you the you know this the dimension what i have, what if i have to keep this over here you know so now i want to actually move this on the the left side right so we'll say shape 2 and the left and let's say i want to just go and paste this exactly on the the left side of this the slide so i just go and say dot left and then let's say this i'll keep this as 300 okay let me rerun this remember there are one is shape one and shape two so when i go and say left to zero i run this you see that it has gone on the left side because now there's no distance from the left if you let's say want to increase the distance you can say that okay i want to keep this 20 so just i mean as i said please do go and give some you know uh, do some attempts here okay and see that what exactly where you want to place this so you have to go and uh, do some sort of uh, uh, rerunning of this you know uh, the program on the effort mode obviously as i'm doing so this i like to keep this on the 300 you know 300 and of course I also want to keep this on the top you know zero so let's do this again so there we go suppose I have to keep you on the top and then you know both are on the top and then one is on the left 20 and one is on the 300 or maybe I can increase this to 700 I guess okay so just I mean see that what exactly suits you perfect okay so that's how it is so when I'm going to run this again see what will happen so there we go okay so that's all guys you can do these type of automations and i'll definitely you know you can see the code here and i'll definitely uh, come back and talk more on the automations of these uh, the powerpoint with vba vba is an amazing language for sure <laughs> right all right thank you so much and i'll see you